Keyword research, one of the most tedious but necessary things to do for Google to rank your content. Because if you don't rank for it, people will miss out on it. But what if I told you that we can use Google's own AI to do this for you? Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. My name is Pascal and I'm an IT consultant based in the Netherlands. In the past, I've ranked multiple websites and videos for clients for which many hours went into doing research on long and short tail keywords. If your article, video or other piece of content is not ranking for these keywords, it could mean that people will not get to experience it. Meaning that your hard work was for nothing. When looking for keywords that would perform well on your website or video, tools like Google Trends and Ahrefs play a big role. And the way this works is that you would look for keywords related to your topic in a specific region that have relatively low competition and a high search volume. But sometimes finding the right keyword can be difficult. And that is exactly why companies pay a lot of money to marketing agencies for them to come up with a content plan containing long and short tail keywords search intent and other pieces of information that help ranking on the web like meta descriptions and titles. I'm going to show you how you can use Google's own AI chatbot to come up with a content plan like this completely for free. All the prompts used in the video can be found in the description below so make sure to check it out right after watching the video. Alright, so the AI chatbot that I'm talking about is called Google Bart. Google Bart is available in 230 countries and speaks 40 languages. If your country is not on this list, don't worry, because you can access it by using a VPN. I am currently located in the Netherlands, but previously Google Bart was not available here. So I used a VPN to move my digital location to the United Kingdom in order to access Google Bart. If you encounter a similar problem, you can use the link in the description to sign up for NordVPN and access Bart as well. All right, so to access Google Bart, go to the following website, bart.google.com. Then you will be greeted with this screen that says, I'm Bart, your creative and helpful collaborator. I have limitations and won't always get it right, but your feedback will help me improve. Not sure where to start. You can try a few things. And what is great about Bart is that it is an artificial intelligence chatbot that has access to the web. But not only that, it is also a Google product. So that means that it has access to Google Trends and other Google products like YouTube. So let's say that we want to get keywords for a real estate company selling tiny houses in Austin, Texas. And we only want to have the good keywords with a high search volume and a low competition. Let's use the following prompt, list 10 long tail and short tail keywords for a real estate company selling tiny houses in Austin, Texas in the United States. Use Google Trends to list the keyword search volume and search competition on the keyword. Well, let's hit enter on that one and let's see what Google Bart will come up with. And as you can see, Bart comes back with an answer and tells us that tiny houses in Austin, Texas is the best long tail keyword to rank for. It mentions a search volume of 1000 and the search competition is medium. Well, let's move on to the short tail keywords. For the short tail keywords, it mentions that the competition is actually quite high. And the highest one is of course tiny house and the search volume for tiny house is also the highest. And others are tiny houses Austin and tiny house living. Google Bart also gives you a explanation on how to use this. And one of the nice things is actually that you can just directly export this to Google Sheets. Just go to BART and right in the chat, move your mouse to export to Sheets and it creates a new spreadsheet for you and you can open it here right away. And then you have it in your Google Sheets and then you can play around with it however you would like. All right, so now we have seen what it can do. Let's generate a content plan with Google BART where we will ask it about keywords, title, meta description, search intent, which is the reason why people type in these keywords in the first place. Quite important and often overlooked. And let's include YouTube tags as well, just in case we want to make a video about our content. All right, so in order to create this content plan, we're going to use the following prompt. Use Google Trends for the following prompt. You are a real estate company selling tiny houses in Austin, Texas. Create a content plan optimized for high converting keywords for the term tiny houses. So we've already picked a term that we want to go and rank for. Write a complete strategy in a table format using the following columns. Keyword cluster, long tail keyword, Google Trends monthly search volume, Google Trends competition score, reason why people search for this keyword, which is the search intent, title, meta description, 
and let's say 20 tags for a YouTube video. And let's hit enter. So let's see what Googlebot came back with. Here's the keyword cluster and all the other things that we asked for. The long tail keyword that we found earlier on was tiny houses for sale in Austin, Texas. It tells us the search volume, the competition score, and it tells us the reason why people are looking for this keyword, right? So people are looking for tiny houses for sale in Austin, Texas, which is pretty straightforward. But it also gives us a title and a meta description that we could use if we would post the content to the website. And of course, the 20 tags for the YouTube video. And this is actually a pretty complete content plan that you would get from a marketing agency. And of course, this also gives you an idea what kind of articles or content you need to publish in order to get the attention of the viewer. And Google Bart also tells us this is just a sample plan, but you can always ask it to be more specific and to give you more examples. And here as well, you can also click on export to Google Sheets in order to modify it to your own liking. And all that is left now is that we actually create the content. And for that, we can use AI as well. I'll show you in a future video. So make sure to subscribe and to be notified when that video hits. So Bart can actually help you construct your own content plan. I'm not saying that you should break all contact with your marketing agency, but this could be a very nice starting point to start up the conversation. And if you're really serious about artificial intelligence, make sure to check out this video over here. And I'll see you in the next one. Oh, you're still here. Well, then let me tell you a joke. Why does the computer doesn't like nature? Because it has too many bugs. <laughs>